everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm finishing up the railing uh, set up at the top of the stairs. This one I did yesterday, uh, and it's pretty solid. It's got uh, the post here is uh, three two by sixes uh, spiked together. The middle one is extra long. If you guys remember these box beam floor supports I've got, they have kind of a hollow middle, and the two by six in the middle kind of slots down in there and gets held. So pretty nice and. Uh, rigid there. This one's a little bit different because this one is going to have some switches in the post. Uh, it's going to be switches set right into there and they're involved in a six-way uh, wiring setup that is uh, kind of the mo more complicated uh, wiring setup we have for the whole house. And what it is for is so that you can turn uh, lights on and off at the bottom of any of these stairwells uh, as well as across uh, over at a room up here. Uh, and it will uh, all the switches will control one set of lights. There's going to be a set of lights in this large vertical area. And the reason for that is I wanted you to be able to turn on the lights at any point and turn them off at any point. Uh, if you were going to go all the way up and you didn't do it as a six way, you'd have to turn on lights before you go up the stairs, this is at night of course, and then turn off that set here and then go to the other uh, stairs and turn on another set there and then turn them off when you get to the top. This way with a six way, you get five switches and if you flick any of them, they are going to actuate the lights that are connected to them. Uh, so you could turn on a, a, a switch at the bottom, go all the way up to the top and turn off the lights when you get up to the top there. So I, it's a little bit more complicated, but I think it'll be worth it. Uh, so there's not a lot of running back and forth of like, oh, I got to turn that off, and then I got to come over here and do that. So one set of, one set of lights uh, that gets controlled by five switches. Uh, so there's going to be some switches uh, in this post because when you get to the top of the stairs, you need to be able to, you know, uh, maybe turn them off if you're finishing here, or if you're starting here, you need to be able to turn the lights on to go down the stairs. So there's this post which is hollow in the middle. Uh, that slides right in here, and the wires are going to uh, move from here down through this area. I've got this set of railings, it's carved out on the bottom. This sets right in there, and then the wires kind of move into this wall, and they kind of do what they need. And then there, here's the uh, top that will hold the whole thing together there. So I've been working on that today. I'm just about done with that as far as I can go until we get the wiring in. And the next step for me today is I'm going to start putting the tongue oil on the floor in here. I finished the tongue oil on the stones downstairs and I'm just going to start this area because I know that nobody needs to go in there for the rest of the day and really want to let the tongue oil dry. One thing I forgot to mention the other day when I was talking about tongue oil is uh, after you get it on with a brush or whatever you use, uh, you really want to be wiping off the excess with a rag. So I, this is a piece of ripped up shirt that I was using. Uh, so you want to make sure that when you're done, you take the, uh, the rag and clean off the excess. Otherwise, when it dries, you can kind of leave like a gummy surface on, uh, like over stuff if there's too much of it. So you want to kind of bring it down, polish them all up, and a rag, in this case, the arm of one of my old shirts, works perfectly for that. That's it. Thanks for watching.